Dolly Varden is a must own silver stock. Uh, we're in the heart of the Golden Triangle. We have 140 million ounces of high grade silver. We're making new discoveries. We're held by some of the most respected silver investors on the planet, including Hecla Mining, Eric Sprott, institutions like Fidelity. We've got results pending and we've got an experienced team that's done it before. A week or so ago, we put out 93 meters of 357 grams silver equivalent. And what's special about that is we've got a big mineralized envelope that's potentially amenable to bulk mining. But within that 93 meters of 12 ounce silver, there's a nine meter, three kilogram per ton core, or three kilo per ton core. So it's an ex exceptionally high grade system, but it's also got the, the width to potentially support bulk mining. The Golden Triangle's got a rich history and the Dolly Varden Silver Project goes back a hundred years. It was the richest silver mine in the British Empire. It was Canada's third largest silver mine. So it's a great history. What we've done is we've leveraged the infrastructure from that old mining operation. We've got a road, we've got tidewater, there's power, there's a regional airport just to the south. So we've got tremendous infrastructure which keeps the cost low. And again, these are amongst some of the highest grade gold and silver mineralization on the planet. What makes the project exceptionally unique, particularly in the southern part of the property, is it's 99% silver. As we go north, we're into a very, very, very high grade gold system. And so the other metal outside of silver is gold. It's actually, um, you've got a whole host of different type of mineralizing systems. And the newly acquired uh, Big Bulk, which is a copper gold porphyry, is potentially the feeder of all that high grade silver and gold mineralization on the property. We just finished the biggest drill program this project's ever seen. We drilled 51,500 meters. It was over a $20 million exploration spend. We're digesting the final assay results from that program. We've still got about a third of that program's drill results to come out and release to market. From there, we'll marry that with all the historic work. There's been over 100,000 meters of historic drilling done, and then we'll come up with a drill plan for 2024, which I envision being an initial 40,000 meter drill program. The mining business is a humbling business and it's a business where you need to take a long term view. You need to have a disciplined approach. You need to make sure that your shareholders understand how long it takes and how much capital is required to build a project. You need a team that's aligned with shareholders. And um, there's many lessons I learned. But the key is try to, if you don't love this business and if you're not passionate about it, you're not gonna be successful. And so just, uh, you know, hu humility goes a long way. I think this could be one of the greatest opportunities for wealth creation in the mining equity space. If you look at where commodity prices are relative to where mining equities are, I don't think there's been a time in recorded history that has represented this type of opportunity. If we take a look at gold, for instance, gold is trading at all time highs in every currency and very close to it in US dollar terms. However, gold equities have never been more undervalued. So I think that it's evident what's coming and we've seen it in previous cycles where the gold price leads and then the equities outperform. And if you take a look at how silver reacts to gold's leadership, it outperforms. Mm -hmm.